Welcome to Suisi Tay Floristry. My name is David Berger and today we're going to learn how to do an asymmetric line arrangement using a floral foam base. I've filled my ceramic container with floral foam and the floral foam is about a centimetre above the lip of the container. I've also beveled the edges of the foam so the water will pour down into the container. I'm going to start by placing my cornice branch and I'm placing them in the left hand corner of the container, making sure that I insert the branches down into the foam for stability. And then I'm also going to now put some of the cornice branch out the side of the container, midway into the container and out to the right of the arrangement. This is going to start to give us the basis of our scalene triangle, which is what we want to achieve with our asymmetric arrangement. This is our center axis and then we're coming out the side of the container. And what I'm doing is I've got a proportion of a two thirds here and a third out the side of the container. I'm then going to follow this first placement with some flax leaf to strengthen the line of the arrangement. In an asymmetrical arrangement, we don't have symmetry each side of an imaginary meridian line in the arrangement. We have more material on one side. In this asymmetric line arrangement, we will have more material on the right hand side of the design. So I've placed my cornice branch out on the side and now I'm strengthening those primary placements with some of the flax leaf to bring the eye and the line straight out to follow our asymmetric line. I'm cutting down the base of the flax leaf and removing some of the material from the sides to allow a sharper insertion into the foam with the mid section of the flax. I'm now creating my asymmetrical line to fill in for the arrangement. I'm then going to further strengthen the placements of the line by placing some of the greeneries deeper in the base of the container and also at the back of the container to add depth to our arrangement. We still want a profile on our arrangement and some depth within what we're making. So by placing the greens behind the flax leaf, this will give us a line of depth behind the arrangement. I'm going to continue on and add some more greens to give me the basis of the shape. To further strengthen our asymmetric line, I've placed some monsteria leaf and some mountain moss in the design. We want to create a straight line on the side of our design, but we also want a small accent. So that's why I've placed some of the mountain moss on this side of the arrangement. I'm now going to follow the line that I've created by placing some support wired roses into my design. I want to make sure that the top roses that are placed in the design are 
the buds and then the fuller, more opened roses are the ones that I will place at the base of the design. I'm stepping my roses down to make sure that they have an even spacing and even distribution throughout the design. I'm going to continue to step the roses down in the design to follow this asymmetric line. I've continued to stagger the roses down in the asymmetric line design, coming right down to the base of the container. I'm now going to start to come out onto what will be the right hand side of the arrangement where we have our asymmetric point. The other thing to note is that as I've staggered the roses down in the design, of also coming out to a point where there is a triangle formation coming down on the front of the design as well. We need to have depth in our design as well as the correct asymmetrical line in the design. I've now strengthened the asymmetrical line by finishing dressing the roses on the right hand side of the arrangement. I've kept the profile as well on this side, bringing the triangle completely down on a side profile as well. I'm now going to strengthen that side profile by adding some small pieces of the flax that have been reduced down in size and also had the treatment of the midrib applied to them so insertion into the foam will be easier. I'm then going to finish by dressing the secondary flower, the spider orchid and a small amount of transitional berry, the hypericum berry through the design to finish off. I've now added the secondary flower, the red spider orchid, and our transitional berry, the hypericum berry, into the design. I've followed the same asymmetric line in the placement of the red orchids coming down through the centre, bringing it out to all the radial points of the triangle, including the side of our scalene triangle. I've then done a similar placement with the hypericum berry, staggering them through the triangle to create this movement of an asymmetric line. With our asymmetric line, we want two-thirds proportions to one-third to give us our asymmetric triangle. And we need to remember our profile on the side of the arrangement bringing our radial points out to create a profile of a triangle from the side as well as the strong asymmetric line at the front of the arrangement. This is our asymmetric line arrangement using a floral foam base.